Good morning and welcome back to Log Cabin Firewood. My name is Jack and today on the channel we have some beach. We're going to try and get through this stuff and we are going to sort through this cookie pile. There is some good stuff in here that the four-way wedge can bust up. Uh, we're going to see what we can get through. Stick around. So this here is a handful of American beach. This is going to end up becoming jackwood. And over here in the cookie pile, there's some ash, there's white oak, there's some cherry in here. There's a little bit of everything. Uh, most of this is going to become boiler wood, but pieces like this that I can get a 16 inch round out of, I'm going to cut up and split up for myself. And if the crotch doesn't split nice, we'll just give that to my boiler buddy because his boiler loves this stuff. But let's uh, get the machines fired up, get the conveyor fired up, see what we can get done. We got that beach cleaned up. You can see the pile is gone. Now we're gonna start going through these uh, cookies because there are some good chunks of wood in there that we can use for firewood for ourselves. But here is the beach. There's probably not quite a third of a cord here. I don't know, it's hard for me to judge still, uh, you know, quantities of wood in the trailer. But again, this will end up being our personal heating wood. Even though, uh, Mr. Ken Bauer from Ken's Cuts says this is actually decent smoker wood. I don't feel like messing with it and I don't really have the room to start separating every single species of wood that I have. Now some of this stuff here, I am gonna have to get the chainsaw out. We'll throw some chaps on and cut some of this stuff up. Uh, there's not much in here that is good for me. You know, I like nice 16 inch pieces. That way it stacks up nicely in my yard, but the rest of this stuff we have to get split up probably sometime tomorrow. Today is Monday, so Tuesday I need to get this stuff cleaned up because Wednesday I have either a 30 or a 40 yard uh, dumpster with a bunch of maple and pin oak getting dropped off. Uh, my uncle had called this morning and said, hey, do you want some wood? And I said, yeah, <laughs> free is nice. Um, but they are not tree cutters. And Steve, don't take any offense to this if you're watching. They're not tree cutters. They cut trees down and they get it off the property. So there's gonna be a lot of cookies coming in that uh, dumpster. There's gonna be a lot of oddball lengths. It's gonna be a lot of work because it's not in log form. Um, if I had the choice, I would prefer some logs, but beggars can't be choosers when it's free and it's getting dropped off at my house for free. So thank you, Uncle Steve. 
Uh, it's greatly appreciated, brother. But let's uh, see what we can get into over here, see if we can get some of this cleaned up and get some good stuff out of it. And then we'll get what's in the trailer stacked up and then I can start splitting some of these cookies and get them to my boiler buddy. Whew. So a lot of the stuff that I threw up front already was a bunch of the crotchy pieces that, that's perfect boiler food. So that'll end up going to my buddy. But like this piece here, that's perfect 16 inches. Oh, and this is the perfect stick. I had uh, somebody ask in the comments a couple videos ago what I was attaching to the bar of my chainsaw. And I used this to measure 16 inches. That way my wood is uniform and stays nice. When you're selling firewood, uh, it's appearance is everything. So it's nice to give consistent lengths to your customers, your clients, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you can get these in 18, I believe you can get these in 18 inches. And then they also make an adjustable one so that you can make it your own custom lengths. Uh, when I do get a wood boiler, I'm probably going to end up cutting my stuff 22 inches um, just so I can get a little bit more out of it. But yeah, uh, Jess, that's what this is. This is the perfect stick. And there's several different brands of these. There's an AccuMark. There's the perfect stick. Um, Brad from Firewood at the Furnace makes his own using a piece of all thread, a magnet that he gets from Amazon, and he just puts some washers with nuts and on the end and you know tightens them up so it doesn't move uh but i found that i like the disc on this a lot better and all this stuff is 3d printed so if you lose it if you break it you can call or message the perfect stick maker and they can get you another one out so you don't have to buy the whole thing uh, and they're local small business uh they're out of new jersey um i love this thing i actually keep one in my truck at all times and then i have one in here in case i lose this or break it so i have a backup but let's quit talking and see what we can get into with this pile of mess. I did go through this pile and move some of the good cookies over here because I am going to try and get through this pile completely but I can't throw it in my trailer yet because I have to get the good stuff stacked um so we'll just I'm, I'm throwing it next to the conveyor so I could just fire the conveyor up chuck it in there and then the conveyor can load it for me or I can back it up to the trailer and throw it in if I don't want to be lazy but there's a couple pieces of cherry here a piece of white oak a piece of ash I think that ash is kind of punky but uh we'll bust it up and see what it looks like everything else here I should be able to bust up with the splitter into smaller manageable pieces I have had people say that some of the boiler stuff that I'm splitting up is a waste of my time, but my buddy prefers it split because of the moisture content and it does help it season a little bit. Yes, the traditional boilers can burn anything, but the more seasoned your wood is, the better they burn, the cleaner they burn, the less creosote they make. So try and season your wood, even if you got an awesome boiler. I wish I could get a traditional boiler here because that would be awesome that I could just have all this waste and that's our heat and our hot water. We'll see what happens though. Uh, get the machine fired back up and go to town. Thank you. 
Well, there is almost another face cord. Uh, that, the back row here was about half full and this is almost two foot tall. So I don't know. We're gonna call it 90% of a face cord we just stacked in the, from the trailer. Uh, now we are going to go over and throw some of these cookies in the dump trailer and see if I can get some more of this stuff split up before the sun goes down. The mess in the driveway is almost cleaned up. All we're left with is a pile of crap and some shrapnel by the splitter, which is awesome because now I am ready for this 30 or 40 yard dumpster, whatever's coming, to start attacking that pile and getting that into our rows. But this is what was uh, here left over of the boiler wood. I just messaged my buddy to see when he could take this. If he takes it before I get to editing, I'll show the dump. The adjustment that I did on the detents seemed to be working. I don't have to sit there. I don't have that sticky valve anymore, which is awesome. But I did notice another problem maybe I'll talk about next week. Uh, just something that has deteriorated and I need to replace. Again, not manufacturer defects, just weather and time. This is my wood boiler buddy's hoard of cookies. And this is all for me. This is uh, some cherry, there's oak, there's all kinds of stuff in here. There's locusts, there's maple, there's some gum, there's ash, there's everything in this pile. And then if you look down here in the driveway, I brought this to him uh, about a month ago. And then this was the little load that was the remainder of the stuff that was in the driveway. Uh, this was the stuff from firewood at the furnace and a little bit of what I had in my driveway, some of the cookies. But I have that big load of maple and pin oak coming in on that dumpster container and I had to make room in my driveway and Rich was accommodating enough to allow me to dump this here today while he's at work. But that is going to be it for today. I hope everybody enjoyed this. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment, share, do all that cool stuff, and we'll catch you back here next Saturday, 6.30 a.m. Take care of each other and have a great rest of your week, guys. Thanks.